Hello, I'm Dr. Tim Murray from Miami, Florida, a retina specialist and the president of the Foundation of the American Society of Retina Specialists. Today, I'm joined by my friend and colleague, a retina specialist, Dr. Ryan Rich of Retina Consultants of Southern Colorado. Dr. Rich, thanks for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be with you, Dr. Murray. So Dr. Rich, there's a lot of information online about ways to keep your vision healthy, but almost none of it really explains to our patients and our families things that they can do to better understand their vision or to better take care of their vision. Could you give our audience a brief overview of how the retina works and how they may be able to take better care of it? Sure. I like to explain the eye and specifically the retina, like the old fashioned camera, which has a lens on the front and aperture and the film on the back. And of course the eye has very similar structures and has um, an opening and a lens and then a retina on the back of the eye, which is essentially the film of that situation. And the, the light and the pictures come in and it uh, appears on the retina, which takes that image and transmits it electronically through the optic nerve into the brain. Literally, the retina is part of the brain, and it's, as people say, a window to the soul. And when we talk about taking care of the retina, anything that's good for your heart is also good for your retina. So to make it simple, diet and exercise, um, getting a routine check, uh, control of any things that might hurt your heart, like high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, and such, those are all basic things that can help the retina. In addition, to have the retina evaluated regularly um, to make sure a competent professional uh, can evaluate for any problems. So that gives us a good idea. So you're suggesting that good general medical health, good eating, good diet, good exercise all play a role. What are the conditions that are most common that can damage the retina or lead to vision loss for our patients? Yeah, so many of them are age-related problems, and some of those more common things that we see in the office include retinal detachment, which is usually just simply from aging, not necessarily a fault of the patient at all, um, retinal tears, but then we can see things related to high blood pressure, diabetic retinopathy, and some things that come along with aging like macular degeneration and problems with blood vessel flow that can cause damage to the retina. So it seems like in some ways the, the eye is kind of a mirror for what's going on in the rest of your body. The better you take care of your body, the better your eye health may be. That's ab absolutely true. And in fact, there are many times when we can look inside the eye at the retina and we can diagnose problems that the patient didn't even know they had, such as diabetic uh, problems and high blood pressure and other things, even sometimes cancers and things that show up in the eye that show up before or they show up anywhere else. What would you say the top three symptoms a patient should look for to know that there's a problem that should be evaluated by a retina specialist? Yeah, so um, since the more common things include um, uh, retinal tears and retinal detachments, the symptoms of those include flashes of light, floaters in your vision, a decrease in a certain part of your vision, uh, like a curtain coming down. Other kind of conditions like macular degeneration and things would be more blurriness in the center of your vision. Same with diabetes, um, where your reading vision becomes poor. You just can't recognize faces as well. And finally, for my patients, I really find it uh, helpful in most of the instances that they compare one eye to the other. And if there's a difference in the quality of the vision between one eye or the other eye, I think that needs to be explained. That's a very good point. We uh, sometimes see patients that have lost vision for some period of time and they don't notice it until they're um, for a, a check for their driver's license or putting makeup on or something and find out that they've had a problem that's been longstanding. So I think that's a very good point. So thank you for talking to us about basic retina health and the things that we can do to preserve our vision. Dr. Ryan Rich from Colorado.